Hello everyone, I'm John Brakey, Director of Audit USA. Audit is an acronym which stands for Americans United for Democracy, Integrity and Transparency. We began 20 years ago as Audit Arizona and have evolved into Audit USA a few years ago. Since the beginning, we have been on the front lines trying to make our elections transparent, trackable, and publicly verified. Tonight, I am proud to share our latest accomplishments with you all, a groundbreaking revolutionary software application that allows the public to verify election results and help election officials to confirm results before final certification of the election. First and foremost, I want to thank Alan Tyson, who is here with us this evening. Alan is the primary developer of this audit tool, which she began developing in 2018 at our request. She has recently returned at our request to refine the capabilities of the software application. It is Alan's genius and software proficiency that has helped made it possible to turn our vision into reality. For those of you who don't know Ellen, she is a now retired election activist who made a real difference in the election world for 20 years with a highly respected website called Voters Unite. Ellen is making a difference again in the development of this amazing audit tool. I also want to express my gratitude to our gracious host this evening, Emily Levy the Director of Scrutineers. Emily and I have collaborated both jointly and independently for the past two decades. Emily was a pivotal member of the inaugural team that embarked on a journey back in 2018 to develop the audit tool with a goal to help election administrators and public verify election results quickly and easily. Why is this audit tool crucial? Elections present a complex landscape overseen by numerous individuals who are not immersed in the electoral process daily. Regrettably, election officials often face a tough decision between speed and accuracy. Seriously, proves very challenging. Why? Because the traditional precinct-based voting method has evolved into a multifaceted system encompassing early voting at voting centers, mail-in ballots, drop boxes, each tracked through a sophisticated system as those used by Amazon and how they track packages. These systems ensure that each ballot envelope is linked securely to its rightful voter. When a ballot envelope signature is verified, the ballot is removed from the identifying envelope, preserving the anonymity of the voted ballot. Despite the evolution away from precincts, they still retain significance in a virtual sense, serving as a foundational unit within the electoral framework. However, many election officials lack the comprehensive understanding of these new systems offered relying heavily on vendors for support. Contrary to common belief, modern election systems leverage digital technology instead of the traditional old optical scan method, which left no trace of their operation behind. These digital systems do not simply tally paper ballots. Instead, they analyze digital images of the ballots, offering a notable advantage such as advanced hyperlinking, sorting capability, and the provision of the ballot image as proof of their functional accuracy. At Audit USA, we've leveraged two key public records, the cast vote record database and the ballot images to develop a better election system for canvassing the vote results called ABE. The initiative aims at demystifying the electoral process by making them transparent, trackable, and publicly verifiable by using public records. Why 
so much focused on canvassing and precincts. The adage of think globally, act locally ring very true here. Precincts serve as a vital unit in the electoral process, forming the cornerstone of election integrity and democratic practices. They encapsulate crucial democratic information and historical voting patterns, proving a common sense approach to understanding voters' behavior, not individually, but as a unit. Where do we currently stand with Abe? Thanks to Ellen Tyson and the advancements made in version 3.1, our system now boasts the capacity to hyperlink Dade County, Wisconsin's extensive archive of ballot images and single cast vote records. Our ability to hyperlink each ballot image to its corresponding row in the cast vote record spreadsheet is a remarkable accomplishment. This impressive data set encompasses approximately 303,000 ballot images and 250,000 single cast vote records. Remarkably, all of this data is seamlessly consolidated into a single spreadsheet made of 303,000 rows archived in under a minute, clocking in at just 55 seconds. These results depend upon the capacity of the computer used, although. This remarkable improvement stands in stark contrast to the previous process, which required a lengthy 15 minutes to complete before macro optimization. Since March 1st, our primary focus has been on scalability and, this and the development of other essential features all seamlessly integrated with hyperlinks into the corresponding ballot images. Along these features include by races is in separate Excel files organized by overvotes by race, write-ins by race, and convert the cast vote record CVR into actual precincts as individual CVRs, a critical aspect of a better election tool for common sense auditing by precinct. First checking to make sure that if 900 people voted, do you have 900 ballot images? Which used to be a common practice in doing a precinct canvas report, which is impossible to do because the ballot original ballots being counted and stored by batch 20 years ago when I started. 75% of all votes were cast at precincts. Now it's almost zero throughout the state of Arizona. Additionally, we have introduced a crucial existing tool called Microsoft Pivot, which enables users to create queries in Excel. Once imported, pivot tables can be used to analyze and summarize the data effectively and then compare to the county's official results. The integration allows you to leverage the strength of both tools. We are going to soon release Somerset County, which is going to be a beta test to use because it's easier to teach people to climb a hill than to start off climbing mountains. Furthermore, it can be done within two gigabytes of data, which can be sent by WeTransfer program, which three separate macros. If I was to send you Dane County, Wisconsin, it would be 44 gigabytes. Somerset County has 6,966 voters and 24 precincts, with all features being done at once takes 21 seconds. Looking ahead, we anticipate handled data for counties with approximately 700,000 voters. Our goal is to scale up to close to 900,000 images using Microsoft Excel. If it was bigger than a million, it would have to be Microsoft Access, then run in two parts in Microsoft Excel. Additionally, we aim to integrate the images and the cast vote records from digital vendors, other digital vendors systems. We somewhat are confident 
of the ability to import various spreadsheet formats such as Microsoft Access, CVS, and K. Johnson's into Excel. It is very important to understand our system's Excel's functionality will be enabling easy data importations to assure seamless integration will provide guidance on minor adjustments and corrections. Additionally, it's imperative to clarify that we have no aspirations to transition into a vendor role. That's not us. We're activists. Our commitment to the original mission statement over two decades ago remains resolute. The steady fastness is a primary driver behind thinking and embracing open source model easily obtained by the public. Our mission, crafted in the early days of 2005, remain as potent today as it was then. To restore public ownership and oversight of elections, safeguarding the fundamental right of every American citizen to vote. Central to this mission is ensuring that each vote is counted as intended with a framework characterized by security, transparency, impartiality, and independent audibility. In the coming demonstration, I will be running Abe using a data from Somerset County, Maryland. I urge you to pay close attention. In 21 seconds, once configured, Abe swiftly executes the tasks outlined above. Following the demonstration, we'll examine a section of the records generated. Witnessing their value firsthand, you'll soon appreciate the significance of Abe. Additionally, you'll have the opportunity to download the software, explore the records yourself, experience the utility firsthand by running the system autonomously. Once the video is released, our goal is to launch a campaign emphasizing to the public and to interested parties that while the challenges in elections are complicated, the solution lies in transparency. Transparency serves as the currency of trust, and without it, our democratic republic will die in darkness. We have named our ballot image audit tool Abe after Abe Lincoln, known for his honesty and his belief in transparency. One of his famous quotes is, I am a firm believer in the people. If given the truth, they can be depended upon to meet any national crisis. The point is to bring them the facts. Now, let's run Abe. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it works with me uh, doing all of this at the same time. Let's oh, yeah. launch this macro 3.1. Okay, uh, I'm not going to read all this to you. I'll let you go ahead and handle that. Uh, click here to begin creating files with links. Okay, here we go. Yes, continue. Now I'm going to select the folder containing the ballot images. So I'm going to go, I got to go to my E drive. Uh, I am looking to, for all the ballot images. So I have a folder just specifically for those ballot images. And here we go right here. And hit OK there. OK, I have a result folder too. OK, so I'll go back to 5, 0, oh, and Somerset results. OK, OK, that's what we want. Select the cast vote record. OK, so that is record. Saving cast vote record Excel file. Okay. Then this page comes up and it's a blank page. It will be filled in later. And so, oops, don't want that. We're going to select the ballot log because that's one of the things we're looking at, the cast vote record. And then we're going to go with precincts. We're going to create and we want to separate by precinct, over votes only, under votes only write-ins only. We're going to go with over votes and, uh, and just do that right now. So once I get ready to go, I am going to hit continue and start the time. So we're ready. Continue, clock, go. You can see it's moving real fast. We're at five seconds. 
six seconds. Creating separate precinct files. Separate, that's incredible. 24 of them. Then we're going to create the list of overvotes, which are 54, and they're done. Boom, 21 seconds. Do we want to combine files? We have nothing to combine, so it's not a problem. No, and it's done. 21 seconds, pretty amazing. Okay, uh, we could turn around and now we're going to go ahead and look at some of the results and see what happened there. Okay, now right here is the control sheet that we started with. I'm going to say done here. And here is the control and here's the reference. And look at this. This is the links. And we're going to pick, uh, let's pick the last one right here. And uh, no, that's the one that has, okay, yeah, let's do that one. This one has 62 ballots is all it has. So it's a really small precinct. I need to press that enable up there, okay? And, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and just click on an image. There we go. And of course, this one comes up. I don't need it. And, but that's the one we want to look at. Uh, I'm going to, that is, if you look up top here, it's 1970. That's the one I picked. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this here. And we're going to do a quick check. And I guess I'm going to move that over there. And uh, I want to highlight. There we go. And so now I want to move that back around again because I want to go side by side, okay? And here is, start off with, was this was for Cox and uh, this other person, I really can't say their name, long funny name. So then Barry was the next vote. You can see where my mouse is, okay? Then Michael, uh, that was Michael Antonio. And yep, that's correct. Chris, that, that's it right there. My mouse is on it. Then we got the next person in the state senator race. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Mary Beth, state senator. Okay. So anyway, we could go through all of these. And I just want to show you how long this thing really is. It's not that long. Uh, this, I think, probably has maybe, uh, let's see here. It's AJ, so it's 27 plus up to J, whatever that counts. I've seen these things go on real long, okay? Uh, could have uh, 100 candidates because uh, it's a big county and it's all over the place. So anyway, you can see it's 21 seconds. Yeah, we want to save. And uh, I want to minus that down because I want to go to the summary file. Now, what you're looking at right here is all of the precincts. And they, you can see they were turned into Excel file. The bottom one is an interesting, it's overvotes. And there we go. Whoop, when you see this, you must engage it because it could freeze you up and cause you problems. 54 overvotes. And the good thing about it is you can look at all this by candidate. And how do you do that? Well, let's just go ahead because I wouldn't look at all of these. I would look at all my close races is what I would do. Everything here. So really, I want to do this because I don't want to screw that other side up. Now, I'm going to go into home and then I'm going to go sort and filter. Okay. And I like to do a custom sort. Okay. And I want to do column E. Okay. And I want to do it by column E. Okay. And I want to do it Z to A because unders and over votes are usually on the top, even though we already got that. But the big thing is we want races. And so we don't, we can go A to Z and, uh, and see how they line people up. Okay, there we go. Now it put that there because I didn't quite do it right, but you can see that there were three uh, uh, over votes for Andy Harris. These are uh, one, this one person only had one. And then you can see in the governor's race, there was quite a few, okay. And then the constitutional amendments and, and these are the, uh, what we call overvotes. And why is that important? Because is an overvote really an overvote? So basically, we got a hell of a good system. Anyway, uh, I'm going to let others, part of my team, uh, Ellen and Susan and Benny Smith, explain more. I think I've talked enough. So anyway, thank you.